Now let's talk about the causes of iron deficiency anemia. Iron deficiency anemia can be broken down into three categories of causes. One of them is decreased intake of iron. Another one is increased losses or increased loss of iron. And another one is increased utilization. So these are the three main categories of causes of iron deficiency anemia. Now let's get into the more specific causes in each category. In the decreased intake category, one main cause is a low dietary iron consumption. So you can imagine that if you're not eating enough iron or not getting enough iron in your diet, you're not going to have enough iron to make red blood cells or make hemoglobin. So this is going to cause iron deficiency anemia. So some examples of a low dietary iron consumption include children on cow's milk. So very young children who drink lots and lots of cow's milk don't get enough iron from that source. So this can lead to an iron deficiency anemia. This doesn't happen in children who are fed breast milk because breast milk contains more iron and that iron is more available to the child. And then some vegan and vegetarian diets also can lead to an iron deficiency anemia because of low iron content in those diets. So some vegan and vegetarian diets may also lead to a decreased intake of iron. Some malabsorptive conditions can also lead to a iron deficiency. So an individual might be eating enough iron, but they're not absorbing that iron as well as they should. Some of these conditions include celiac disease. So celiac disease affects the first part of the small intestine or the duodenum. And the first part of the small intestine is where iron is absorbed. So celiac disease is one of those conditions that can affect the absorption of iron in the duodenum. And Crohn's disease is also another condition. So Crohn's disease can cause inflammation in the duodenum, leading to issues with absorption of iron. And then some gastrointestinal surgeries can also cause or lead to an iron deficiency anemia. So if certain parts of the gastrointestinal tract are removed, that part of gastrointestinal tract will no longer be able to participate in absorption of nutrients. And one of those might be iron. So certain gastrointestinal surgeries can increase the likelihood of iron deficiency and iron deficiency anemia. Now let's talk about increased losses. Increased losses are actually broken down into two subcategories. One of them is hemolysis or breakdown of cells or breakdown of red blood cells more specifically. And the other one is hemorrhage or bleeding. So in hemolysis, there are certain blood conditions that can lead to the destruction of red blood cells, and this includes intravascular hemolysis. One of these intravascular hemolysis conditions is TTP, or thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, and then the other one is DIC, or disseminated intravascular coagulation. So these both can lead to hemolysis or breakdown of red blood cells, leading to losses of those red blood cells, losses of that iron and eventual iron deficiency anemia. And then hemorrhage is also another common cause of iron deficiency anemia. This is actually going to happen in most cases. So most cases of iron deficiency anemia will be found in this category, in the hemorrhage or blood losses category. Number one is going to be menstruation. So menstruation is the reason why reproductive age women are more likely to get iron deficiency anemia. Blood losses from each menstrual cycle can lead to enough blood losses where an individual loses iron from the blood losses but doesn't bring in enough to compensate for those losses. And more specifically, if a patient experiences menorrhagia, which is excessive menstrual bleeding, this can also make it worse. So they can have way more blood loss and not enough iron brought back in in their diet to make up for that blood loss. Now, gastrointestinal bleeding is the second most common cause of iron deficiency anemia. So whereas menstruation is going to be the most common cause in reproductive age women, in older patients or in male patients, gastrointestinal bleeding is going to be the most common cause of iron deficiency anemia. So gastrointestinal bleeding might come from many different sources or many different conditions. Some of them can include peptic ulcer disease, colorectal cancer, celiac disease, and other conditions that lead to bleeding in the gastrointestinal tract. So again, this is going to be the most common cause in male patients and in older female patients who are postmenopausal. Acute blood loss is also another cause of iron deficiency anemia. So we can imagine that if someone cut themselves or there's a large cut and they've lost a lot of blood, that can lead to iron deficiency anemia. And then some other ones include chronic nosebleeds. So if someone's having lots of nosebleeds multiple times, this can lead to enough blood loss where patient loses iron but doesn't get it back in time or doesn't get enough to compensate for those losses. 
and this can lead to iron deficiency anemia. And then there's some urinary losses as well. Hematuria, which is blood in the urine, can also occur if a patient has issues with their urinary tract, if they have issues with their bladder, and there's blood loss from those sources, this can cause iron deficiency anemia as well. And the last category of causes is increased utilization. So although the patient might be getting enough in their diet, they might be absorbing, they might be able to utilize it properly, they actually need more than they're bringing in in their diet. And some of these cases include pregnancy. So because an individual who's pregnant also has an infant who also requires iron, that patient might require even more iron in their diet. So although they're bringing in iron in their diet and they're also absorbing it properly, they're not losing any, they need more than usual. So they're going to deplete their iron stores quicker. And then another case where increased utilization may be a cause is growth and development. So when children are very young and they're growing rapidly, or in adolescence where they're growing rapidly as well, they're going to need more iron during those times. So they're going to have to have more iron in their diet because they have a situation where they're requiring more for utilization. So this is the reason why young children can be at an increased risk for getting iron deficiency anemia as well. So these are the main causes of iron deficiency anemia.